Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel. So you guys have really been loving the mini vlogs days in my life so I thought I'd continue them. I am right now about to go get my nails done. I haven't gotten them done since the last time I showed you guys which was like what November 20th or something November 15th so it is January 5th today 6th so it's been a while it's been way too long I definitely need to get them done they are grown out I'm getting this cute like French tip with a bow I'll show you guys after and then tomorrow and Sunday I have a bunch of apartment showings because I am moving out of my current apartment and it's like three hours from where my parents live so it's just a bit far like constantly driving um, so I'm going to look at some that are a bit closer, uh, and I was planning on moving to the UK this year, but talked to some lawyers, and unfortunately that is just not possible. They, the UK is making it really hard to move there, uh, so I can talk about that a bit more in another video, but basically my only option is to move there next year, like March or so, so I'll be here for another year in Canada just over which means I will probably want my own space for that long amount of time instead of being at home especially just having a nice quiet space to film so I'm going to go look at some places tomorrow and I'll be sure to show you guys and take you along I'm also planning on going to the antique shop on Sunday to look for some props for ASMR videos so I'll take you along with me there as well I'm going to the Hamilton Antique Mall um, because it's like the best place to go for antiques no matter how long of a drive it is i know people who drive like three hours to go to that antique mall it is just literally the best so i'll take you guys there it's insane it's like four floors just filled with antiques it is overwhelming the first time i went i got legitimately lost in there and i was scared <laughs> but i'll take you guys to see so yeah i will see you guys after i get my nails done okay guys so i just got my nails done and look how gorgeous they are they're black french with of course the little pink bow and the pearls i love them so much they're pretty edgy for me i've never had like black french tips before they're they're pretty cool like i feel a little bit edgy i don't know i love them but they're still like co coquette 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 you know whatever they're still very delicate and cutesy so I love them and I kept the length for ASMR so they're still really long but I actually forgot to ask her to clean underneath them oopsies so I should have done that oh well regardless though I was gonna go home but I have half an hour until I need to go home and film that's when um my stepdad is taking my little brother out of the house so it's a bit you know more quiet so I'm gonna run over to Marshall's because while I was there I remembered why my grandma and I went to Marshall's and they had this like mini nail dremel set like the little you know when they <laughs> you know when they take the acrylic off your nails and they use the stuff they had one of those so I'm, i for, completely should have bought one as well when i was with her to use in asmr videos but i forgot so i'm gonna go and see if they have an extra one for role plays and then my mom also really wanted this blazer the last time we were there but i told her not to get it because i was like you don't need it and then she's been talking about it literally every day since so i'm just gonna go buy it for her <laughs> So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll head home and film one last video today and I'll keep you along with me of course for tomorrow as well and the rest of the vlogs for the you know mini day vlog. Okay so unfortunately they didn't have the nail dremel set so I'll just have to get one off of Amazon because I do think that's a really good prop but I did find some other stuff for videos. I got this spa mask. I used to have one of these but I got rid of it because it got yucky so a new one. I got this for a role play, like a sleepover role play. I thought that was so cute with little skincare and stuff. And it's vegan and cruelty free, so I can use it after as well. Um, and then I got some little shorts for me that were $7, so I was like, I can't go wrong with those. And then I found this brush, which I thought would be so good for either a men's ASMR video or just like the ultimate hair brushing video. I did one of those before, so I could recreate it and add this in it as well. I got that and then last but certainly not least I got these for videos I thought I could do a like a doing your makeup but fast food edition or something I thought that these were way too cool to pass up I've never seen them before so I had to get them and they weren't that expensive they were 10 bucks and 9 bucks so not bad at all and that's Canadian and then I did in fact get my mom the blazer they had it I had to search around a little bit but luckily I found it so yeah just some props little business expense and yeah now I'm off 
to head home okay so this is the first apartment that i viewed it was really nice i liked the amount of space because it wasn't too much like i don't need a ton of space the only thing was that it was like on a ground level as you can see which i don't feel comfortable with just in terms of safety and also there were two different tenants above me so it just would have been loud which i've talked about before but all new appliances it was really pretty and then while we were waiting for the second place nothing was open yet so because it was everything opened at 11 and it was like 10 so my mom and i just hung out at the liquor store trying to keep warm this was so funny but look at this little like 12 oceans set i was like oh it's so cute and then once things opened we ended up going and seeing the apartment and got donuts um that apartment though was on the first floor so i didn't end up picking it um or showing it because they had their stuff in it i'll explain later but after donuts then we went to the antique mall and this is kind of what it looks like i was telling you guys how insane it is the just sheer amount of stuff is ridiculous like you have to hunt here and it's just so overwhelming i will say that but you can find the coolest stuff and of course i had to show some cameras i took this footage as well to show my boyfriend since he's a photographer a film photographer so i showed these to him as well i just love all the vintage cameras and stuff and i did buy some really cool things hello everyone so i finally arrived at my apartment it is monday night i've had a day but first i'll give you guys a recap of yesterday so i had one apartment showing which is the first video you guys saw and um it was nice but i didn't love it because it was actually kind of like a basement slash ground unit but i of course need a really quiet space i need to be on the top floor because otherwise i can't work i mean it sounds really like you know prissy or whatever but honestly after that one apartment where if you've seen my bloopers videos you heard how loud my neighbors were i just couldn't do it i was having a film at like 2 3 a.m it was so bad for my sleep schedule and everything so i had to turn that one down and then i had a second viewing um and that one i didn't show but uh basically they were it was like a lease takeover so they had all their stuff there so i didn't feel comfortable like whipping out my phone being like hey i'm vlogging nice closet <laughs> um but i really love the building because in the facilities like there's a really good security there's a gym there's like a ton of like different rooms for the guests and stuff like the people who live there i mean like it's just really good facilities so i love that building so i called and asked if there was any other apartments because that was a first floor apartment and i already just we we know how i feel about it so um i called and they were like yeah we actually have a couple on the top floor and it's like a loft style and i will say this apartment is pricier it's a little bit more expensive than what i currently pay for this place because it's literally my dream place so i'll insert the clips now for you guys to see um she's gorgeous i think it's worth every penny and i also love that I won't have to pay for a gym membership separately. I get that included. I also love the security aspect of it. And there's a mail room, which is also good because at my current apartment, um, I've had three packages get stolen with my AC unit. So um, I just need a proper mail room and security, which is what these guys have, which will be really good for me. So I'm super excited about that. So I'm working out the deposit and move in and I can't wait to give you guys a proper tour when I'm ready. And so then after that, I went antique shopping with my mom and I'll give you guys a haul tomorrow or later tonight. I don't know. Um, and then today I was supposed to drive up to Kingston early, but I had to go take my car in. Okay. And I was like, I got it right in at 9 a.m. And they were like, oh, it should be done by noon. You know, you can head up to Kingston. And I always top tip guys. Um, always when you take your car in, bring them like donuts in the winter or popsicles in the summer. I always do this for the people fixing my car at my dealership because A, I think it's a really nice thing to do. And B, when my key was broken and I needed a new key fob, which was like $150, they were like, oh, you're the person who always brings food. This was my mom. This, she taught me this lesson. They were like, oh, you're the lady who always brings donuts. My mom's like, yeah. And they're like, oh, don't worry about it. Like the key's on us. <gasps> How nice is that? So just treating people good, you know, good karma comes around. So. That's something I learned from my mom. Anyways, I brought them donuts. I was there right on time. And they call me at 11 and they're like, hey, your winter tires are so terrible. We won't put these on your car. 
So I had to buy new winter tires, which was a big expense. And then also the like driver's belt, not seat belt, but like the belts in the car that moves all the parts. I don't, I don't know. I just started watching Top Gear with my boyfriend. I don't know. Um, that's broken as well. It's frayed. So you need to get that replaced. So my car wasn't ready until 5 p.m. So I didn't leave until about 6. It is now like 10 p.m. I came home, showered and everything. So big expense for the car. Got home. My apartment's looking fine until I take a shower. Okay, so I had this issue once before when I first moved in. And basically my fan, even though it's, you know, fanning, air quotes, it's not. And it's not ventilating properly. And this is literally after one shower. You get like all these goopy like blobs of yellow brown stuff and it leaks into my tub and it leaks literally down my walls like look at how disgusting that is it's so gross it's oh it's terrible and it's everywhere like it's all my walls you can see it like dripping down and it, it's just so gross so i need to get that fixed but i emailed them and sorry let me flip the camera i emailed them and initially when i had I've had two different managements for this apartment because they switched over. So the first management got this fixed right away. Even though they weren't the best, they got it fixed right away. These people will not reply to my emails unless I spam their contact page on the website and I'm like, answer me, answer me, answer me, answer me. And then I finally have to set up a Zoom call because they won't reply to my emails, like ever. So I had to do like an urgent email about this, but I don't think they'll reply. So now I'll have to spam their website again, which I shouldn't have to do as a tenant. Just, oh, it's a stress I didn't need. And also it's just disgusting. I'm like trying to shower and I have this stuff like dripping down on me. I'm so gross. And that was literally after just one shower. Like it's gonna get worse so fast. So not excited about that. Um, and with all of that being said, I decided to order myself some food. We're supposed to do a big snowstorm tomorrow and I have a bit of canned food. So I'll be fine. Like if I can't go grocery shopping for a couple days, but for tonight, I was like, you know what, before the snowstorm, I'm going to treat myself to some food because today has been not as expected with, you know, my car and then apartment grossness and all of that. So I ordered myself some Indian food. I have not tried this place before. It's like Indian fusion cuisine. I'm really excited, guys. So once that gets here, I'll show you guys my little mukbang, my, my little meal. Okay, the food has been delivered. So first up, I got these vegan momos. They're literally just called momos. I don't know what that means, but they looked kind of like dumplings. But I guess they're um, like Indian dumplings. I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure. I've never had them. This is oh, that sauce smells so good. Oh my gosh. That is spicy. That is so good. Okay, I'm gonna try one of these for you guys. Dip it in the sauce. Mm. Oh, my mm. Mm. oh my gosh. I'm too much of a wimp. <laughs> I just got iced tea, but that is really good. I think I'll just have a bit less of the spicy sauce although i'll keep it because it's delicious i just i'm not too good with spice but i want to be good with spice you know mm. and then i got this which is apparently a top seller for them it's a kidney bean curry with this cilantro salad i've never had a kidney bean curry so i'm excited to try her and i do love me a good curry so let's see how this is oh my gosh it's still hot it's so rare I get food delivered and it's still warm. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, it's hot, hot. <laughs> okay, we'll do a smaller bite. That one isn't bad. That one's more comfort food, but I feel like it needs a bit of flavor. But good thing I have a super spicy sauce that I can mix into it. Mm, and now I'll try the salad, which has the cilantro lime dressing. Mmm, that is good. Oh my goodness. Okay, 
this meal was worth it just for that salad that is phenomenal oh my goodness so that is all for the night i'm gonna muck i'm gonna watch some real housewives and tomorrow's a new day <laughs> so tomorrow i've got a bunch of filming to do and um i also want to film the antique haul but i think i might just film that as a separate mini video because i think i prefer doing more mini vlogs and putting out like a couple a month instead of just like one long 25 minute vlog i think that just works better and also it doesn't make me procrastinate editing them because that's the biggest thing so yeah, I think I might actually just end the vlog here because it's been a pretty eventful one in terms of the mold and whatnot. Um, and I will give you guys a separate antique haul. And yeah, that is basically these days in my life, just getting up to my apartment and tomorrow is start filming. I'm here for about two weeks, just under. And I've got a ton of videos to film, a ton of collabs to do. So your girl is gonna be a busy bee, but at least now we have food for energy. So yeah, I love you all so much. I will see you in my next video. And if you have any video requests, then feel free to comment them in the description. No, the description box is my job. In the comment section. Okay. Love you all so much. Bye.